Hello, I'm Percy. We will learn about NNP type semiconductors. Last time in an intrinsic semiconductors, we have discussed its three cases. Now, in this video we will discuss about two types of semiconductor for doping, N-type namely pentavalent, and P-type namely trivalent. Let's do the doping on a pure silicon crystal for two cases. In an N-type semiconductor, it is therefore doped with a pentavalent impurity element which has five electrons in its valence shell. As a result, there is an extra electron which is free, such as doping phosphorus on a pure silicon crystal. Similarly, you can also show that arsenic and antimony can be doped to obtain pentavalent impurity according to the atomic numbers. On the other hand, in P-type semiconductors, it is doped with a trivalent impurity element which has three electrons in its valence shell. As a result, a hole is left such as doping boron. You can also show that aluminum can also be doped too. This is what you get a difference of N and P-type semiconductors. In terms of chemistry, let's meet Amy for a moment. Amy, is any metal structure like silicon used for semiconductors? Yep, Percy, its atomic number is 14. Amy, mm -hmm. are these valence shell for silicon and germanium are same? Yep, in the same column of group 14, just like referring into the periodic table of elements. The row 3 and 4 will be different called periods, depending on the filling of electrons and its shells. Just as you say, Percy, you can check out the outer shell having 4 electrons. Hmm, that's true. Well, group 14 as you have said, as a reference mark for an intrinsic semiconductor, move to the left we get group 13, that is trivalent, leaving a hole, and group 15 on the right. That is pentavalent, having an extra electron. Hmm. That will depend on its electronic configuration. Okay, now I know about depending on its electronic configuration. Thanks for giving me the details Amy. Thanks. So, we have learned about the two types of semiconductors. Like, comment, and subscribe now.